My entire team just got locked out. Looks like I'm unemployed. Impersonal and unsparing as Twitter became its own trend. Just got cut off from laptop access. With virtual mass sackings from one of the biggest tech companies in the world. The email stated that uh, if we would be laid off, we'd hear from our, to our personal email and if not, to our work email. And it was about an hour after that, I noticed my work laptop was remotely wiped. Billionaire Elon Musk, who took over Twitter a week ago, described a massive drop in revenue as hundreds lost their jobs without notice. It's a form of cowboy capitalism. Good and sophisticated employers that we would normally deal with wouldn't uh, conduct themselves in this way. It exposes that even if you're in a leading edge and glamorous uh, working environment to a degree, you're still not far away from master and servant. Your employment here is terminated. Other big companies have also sacked staff via video message in the past 12 months. Your final day of employment is today. It's at risk of becoming the rule. The very nature of modern work means more of this. A changing world through the pandemic, working from home, has accelerated our use of remote communications. It was supposedly a shift towards a better work-life balance, but our interactions have become ever more impersonal. We're now more connected than ever, but those connections are now seemingly less tangible, making it much easier to cut them off. Like the Twitter sackings echoing those of 800 p and workers. They weren't sanctioned in any way. The government could do that. They've got their hands on the levers of power. Instead of, you know, uh, making an example of PO, what they've done here is given other unscrupulous employees the green light. Unions say Twitter have now announced a consultation, but the man described as a disruptor may be sued for being too late. Adele Robinson, Sky News.